You're watching Fox 5 News at 5. New York City's Blue Note, one of the most famous jazz clubs in the world. That's right, and tonight's In the Spotlight, Crystal Young takes us for a behind-the-scenes tour. For more than 33 years, the Blue Note has played host to some of the biggest names in jazz. The club was the brainchild of Israeli businessman Danny Ben Susan. Ben Susan had the theory, if you build it, they will come. The beauty about the Blue Note also is when you come to see a show, whether you come to see Nancy Wilson or John Henricks or anyone, you never know who's going to jump in that stage. Many musicians such as Al Jarreau, Bobby McFerrin, uh, Nancy Wilson, John Henricks, uh, in one stage all together playing together. When the club opened in 1981, Ben Susan's goal was to take jazz out of smoky basements and bring it ground level, making it more comfortable. He used creative marketing to put together interesting concerts with double billing. He wanted the audience to be comfortable, but he also knew in order to court legends, he had to make it comfortable for them too. I give the musician what they deserve, which is a great sound system, a good dressing room, good bathroom and their own dressing room treat it uh, like they should be treated the day I stopped by Ben Susan took a walk down memory lane looking at photos of jazz icons like Sarah Vaughn and Diane Reeves and reminiscing about the week when Celia Cruz and Tito Puente packed the house <laughs> While lots of jazz legends have hit the Blue Note stage, the club also encourages new talent. It's actually the one place where singer Michael Buble says he gets a little nervous performing. Sun lights up the daytime. They said, how are you nervous playing in the Madison Square Garden? He says, no, I was only nervous when I first played the Blue Note stage. So downstairs, you can hear the fantastic music, but upstairs, it's a gift shop. You've never seen anything like it, everything from baby grand pianos to check out this adorable little saxophone that I discovered could double as a necklace. The Blue Note has had a record label for years, but now Ben Susan wants to expand the brand internationally. Before he does, there's two big names he wants to walk through that door. Tenor saxophonist Sonny Rollins and the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. Crystal Young, Fox 5 News. Pretty talented cast and stuff. Incredible history mm -hmm. there. Yeah. All right, that's it.